Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 12.2, second question, chapter is ratio and proportion of class 6. The question is, write true or false against each of the following statements. So here we have a six questions and we have to see if they are in proportion or not. So proportion, is, this is a sign used for proportion, you can see two columns are used. So proportion means when we say two ratios are equal, then we call them in proportion. So how to solve this? Let's take the first example. You can see we have a two ratio. The first one is 16 is to 24 and second one is 20 is to 30. We're going to reduce it. We're going to reduce them to the lowest form because ratios are always in lowest form. And then later we'll see if they're equal or not. So this is a ratio and I'm going to convert this into fractions. So this will become 16 by 24 and I'll cancel it. We can cancel this in um, a four table. Four fours are 16, four six are 24. So when you're cancelling it, you have to cancel that in the same number, like same table, like 16 and 24 both go in same uh, table 4, so I can cancel it. Next we have 4 and 6, they both go in 2 table, 2 2's are 4, 2 3's are 6. Now 2 and 3 doesn't go in any table, right? They should go in same table, but they don't go, so 2 by 3 is the answer, we cannot cancel this further. Similarly, the second ratio is 20 is to 30, convert this into fraction, this will become 20 upon 30. Now cancel this, we can cancel this in 10 table, so you can cancel this in 5 table, it's completely on you. I'm di doing directly in 10 table, if you want to cancel this in 5 table, you can go with it. You can cancel this in 2 tables, completely on you, but at the end the answer will be same. So 10 2's are 20, 10 3's are 30. So this is equal to 2 by 3. So you can see we've got 2 by 3 here, the first ratio is 2 by 3 and second ratio is 2 by 3 and they are equal, right? So we can say that yes, it is true, they are in proportion. Right, the answer for the first question is true. Same way, we're going to do the next question. So in second one, we have 21 is to 6. And the second ratio is 35 is to 10. Now convert this into fraction. This will become 21 by 6. And cancel this in 3 table. 3 2s are 6. 3 7s are 21. We got 7 by 2. And this the 7 and 2 don't go in any, like, they don't go in same table. So we cannot cancel this further. And here we have 35 by 10. Now we can cancel this in 5 table. 5 7s are 35. 5 2s are 10. So here also we got 7 by 2. So we got we can see that both ratios are 7 by 2 and 7 by 2. And 7 by 2, they, like they are equal. So we can say that yes, it is true. They are in proportion. And let's see the third question now. Third one, the first ratio is tw 12 is to 18. And second ratio is 28 is to 12. So this is equal to, convert this into fraction, we'll get 12 by 18. Now cancel this in 6 table. We can cancel this in even 2 table or four ta or no, 2 table or we can cancel this in 6 table. I'm going to directly do in 6 table. 6 2s are 12, 6 3s are 18. Now we got 2 by 3, we cannot cancel this further. So the answer is 2 by 3. Second one, second ratio, convert this into fraction, 28 by 12. You can cancel this in, uh, let's say, 2 table. So 2, 6 are 12 and 2, 14 is 28, right? And we got 14 and 6. We can cancel again 2 table. 2 3s are 6 and 2 7s are 14. So the answer is 7 by 3. So you can see that they are not equal, right? 2 by 3 is not same as 7 by 3, which means they are not equal. So we can say this is false statement. They are not in proportion. If they are equal, they will be in proportion. So they are not in proportion. Then the next one. So the first ratio is 8 is to 9 and second ratio is 24 is to 27. Now convert this into a fraction, we'll get 8 by 9. So 8 by 9 we cannot con like we cannot cancel this because both number doesn't go in same table. And next here we have 24 by 7 and this we can cancel in 3 tables, 3 8s are 24, 3 9s are 27. So we got 8 by 9 and you can see first ratio is also 8 by 9. So we can say that they are, like they are equal so they are in proportion. So it is true. Then the next one. So here we have 5.2 is to 3.9. So 5.2 is to 3.9. And second ratio is 3 is to 4. So 5.2 and 3, is, uh, like when I convert this into a fraction, this will become 5.2 by 3.9. 
now you have learned this in your lower classes fourth and fifth class that we can remove decimal and we have to multiply with 10 in the denominator or in the numerator like here after decimal point I have only one digit right so when I remove decimal point I'll get 10 because 10 contains only one zero so if I remove decimal from the numerator I'll get 10 in the denominator like um, this is a short way of doing it uh, like you have learned this in your lower classes I'm not explaining why this happens so remove the decimal point like cancel the decimal point and in the denominator we'll get 10 but there's already 3.9 in the denominator so these two numbers will get multiplied similarly you can see we have 3.9 in the denominator remove the decimal point and you have to multiply 10 in the numerator Right, I hope it's clear why we are getting 10 because after decimal we have only one digit so we'll get 10 if there are two digit we'll get 100 if there are three digit we'll get 1000 that same way so let's cancel them so if just to avoid confusion I'm going to rewrite this we got 52 multiplied by 10 now the decimal point is removed and we have 39 multiplied by 10 so 10 and 10 will get cancelled 52 and 39 we can cancel this in 3 table so 3 3's are 9 and 3 4's are 52 sorry sorry 13 3's are 39 and 13 4's are is 52 we can cancel this in 13 table so we can cancel this in 3 table uh, so not 3 table 13 table we got 4 by 3 and the second ratio here we have is 3 by 4 if I convert this into fraction we will get 3 by 4 so you can see that first one is 4 by 3 and second one is 3 by 4 they are not equal right so this is false they are not in proportion I hope this question is clear then the next one this is last one here we have 0 0.9 is to 0 0.36 is proportion to 10 is to 4 so the second ratio is 10 is to 4 now convert this into fraction we'll get 0 0.9 upon 0 0.36 now here we have in the previous question we have seen how to remove decimal so in the first like in the numerator I have a if I remove decimal I have one digit after that right so I'll get 10 in the denominator and there's an only number in the denominator so they'll get multiplied and here in the denominator I have a 0 0.36 so that are two digits in the denominator so if I remove decimal here I'll get 100 in the numerator and these numbers will get multiplied Okay. I'm going to rewrite this so I'll get 9 multiplied by 100 so it is like 0 9 is nothing but 9 so 9 multiplied by 100 and this is 0 in the beginning so it doesn't have any value so we'll get 36 multiplied by 10 now do the cancellation we can cancel 9 and 36 in 9 table 9 ones are 9 fours are 36 we can cancel 10 and 100 10 ones are 10 tens are 100 now we can cancel 4 and 10 uh, four, in 2 table 2 twos are 4 2 5s are 10 so here we got 5 by 2 so here we have 10 by 4 in the second ratio cancel them in 2 table 2 2s are 4 2 5s are 10 so here we got 5 by 2 so you can see that both both are like in same uh, both are same so we can say that they are in proportion so the answer is true so that's it I hope this question is clear in case you have further questions or doubts you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching